Robert Hellenius has sparred against Anthony Joshua several times in recent years. If Hellenius gets the opportunity to face Joshua in a fight that counts, the veteran heavyweight is confident he'd achieve what was expected of him 10 years ago. If I fight with Joshua, Hellenius told BoxingScene.com, that would mean that Finland will have a new world champion. The 36-year-old Hellenius, 33, 19 KOs, won the WBA's gold championship when he upset previously unbeaten Adam Kanaki, 20-1, 15 KOs, by fourth-round technical knockout last month in New York. That impressive victory at least moved Hellenius into position to eventually challenge England's Joshua, 23-1, 21 KOs, who owns the WBA, WBO, IBF and Debo championships. I think it would be a really interesting fight, Hellenius said. It would go well for me. I've also been there, sparring with him, so I know him a little bit. He's a good guy. I like him a lot. But he's standing in my way for the title, so I have to take him down. It is unclear, according to the WBA's rules, who is its mandatory challenger for Joshua's super heavyweight title. Germany's Manuel Carr, 31-4. 17 KOs, is the WBA's world heavyweight champion, but for various reasons he hasn't boxed since November 2017. American Trevor Bryan, 20-0, 14 KOs, owns the WBA's interim title, yet he hasn't competed since August 2018. I think when the time comes, the WBA will do the right thing and declare Robert the mandatory challenger to Anthony Joshua, said Marcus Sundman. Hellenius manager. He shocked fans in America by knocking out Kanaki, and he will shock fans around the world when he beats Joshua. Brian is ranked number one among the heavyweights in the WBA's ratings. Neither Khan nor Hellenius is listed in the WBA's heavyweight rankings. Carr and Brian certainly aren't more deserving of a title shot than Robert, said Mike Boau, Hellenius advisor. Neither of them has beaten anyone near the caliber of Kanaki. Joshua won't need to make his WBA mandatory defense until he fulfills similar obligations for the IBF and WBO. 2012 Olympic gold medalist will battle Bulgaria's Karat Pulev, 28 to 1, 14 KOs, the mandatory challenger for his IBF belt, in his first fight allowed after the coronavirus crisis. Ukraine's Oleksandr Usyk. 17-0, 13 KOs, is the mandatory contender for his WBO crown. Joshua impressed Hellenius by the way he outboxed Andy Ruiz, 33-2, 22 KOs, in their 12-round ray much four months ago. The 30-year-old Joshua avenged his seventh-round, technical knockout defeat to Ruiz six months earlier by comfortably winning a unanimous decision December 7 in Diria. Saudi Arabia. He did stick and move, like he said he would do, Hellenius said. It was a good decision not to go in fighting with a guy with much faster hands. So, he did well. Hellenius still is confident he would upset Joshua, whom he gladly would fight anywhere in the United Kingdom. I think it would be like Barclays Center all over again, Hellenius said regarding his fourth round stoppage of Brooklyn's Kaunaki on March 7. There would be booing and stuff like that in the beginning, and then, as the fight goes on, it will be very quiet. Keith Idick is a senior writer-slash-columnist for BoxingScene.com. He can be reached on Twitter at Idick Boxing. Let's block ads. Why?